So I'm going to show you how to connect the SL6 to the 688. It's very easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, you need a, a Phillips screwdriver and 688, the supplied ribbon cable, and the SL6. So you start by taking these two screws out and these two screws, which I'll do right now. These two in the back are very long. Take a little bit to get out. Now on the top of the 688, there's a, uh, an adhesive cover, which covers up the uh, receptacle where this ribbon plugs into, and you need to take that off. So you can see the uh, spot where you plug in the ribbon cable here. It is different on the top from the bottom. Uh, the bottom one can accommodate a CL6, and the top one can only accommodate an SL6. So you've got these four screws out and the cover off. Now your 688 is ready. Let's move on to the SL6. On the SL6 bottom, there's a mating connector right here. So you start with the ribbon cable and it helps to bend it a little bit like that and plug it in until it clicks. Now we're going to flip this over and this ribbon cable needs to plug in to the 688 like so. So you can see it's like that. And now, press that down. There's a little pocket for the ribbon cable to sit in. And then we're ready to put the screws back in. So we're going to start with the two on the back. And then the two on the front. Make sure we're nice and tight on all of these. And that's all there is to it. So now we've got the SL6 attached to the 688. I'm going to install a couple of receivers. First thing to do is to remove the rubber plugs, which are good to keep if you're transporting this without receivers in there. Pull those out. And if you're only going to run with a couple of receivers in there, leave this in here. It holds your cable connections and keeps water and dust out of there. So I'm going to put in an Electrosonics receiver and a WYSICOM receiver because we speak both American English and Italian. No problem. With the Electrosonics and the WYSICOM, they have these spacer plates. And you need to install these before you can slot in the receivers. So I've got the WYSICOM spacer on here. So then you take the MCR42, slot it in. Tighten the screws, like so. And then attach the antennas. There's one. There's two, voila. So I've attached the Electrosonics as well as the WYSICOM, and yes, you can operate different brand receivers simultaneously in one unit. For the antennas, you can use the quarter wave whips that come with your receivers by using these BNC to SMA adapters that are included. Put them on, attach your whips, and you're good to go. Also, you can use BNC uh, connected antennas as well as powered antennas if you want to remote them.